Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be our semi-final matchup of the first week of the North American Challenger Cup. Back in the casting chair once again is the original duo for today, Rain Conius and M Target. Burly men up yeah, against I'm just uh, arguing with spectators. So go, keep talking. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> um, go no, on, the, the, our screen broke, and so I have to go through and fix everything manually. So. Ah, oh, I hate it when it breaks. Don't you hate when things I, break? I'm, I blame Bologna. Personally, I, I blame Adonis, but hey, you can blame whoever the heck you want. Tom's anyway, here, so I, figured I, cut, I cut him some slack. <laughs> some, some, a little bit, not, not a lot. He's he's influencing two two channels of smite at the same time. Anyway, oh dear. Uh, dear. coming terrifying. to you from the semifinal matchups, obviously Burley Men versus K Sport. The other semifinal matchup with four teams remaining in this week's Challenger Cup is, of course, going to be Vicious and Delicious. Mmm, tasty name. And Inverse Esports. Indeed. So we do see the uh, first round of bands: a Wheelish, Odin. Bologna and Hell. So we're seeing a lot of Odin and Hell. And the thing that I found most interesting is this Odin ban is specifically to counter Hell. Or uh, the Odin ban is specifically so if you get Hell. But then Hell's just going to get banned anyways. So there's the question of what would happen if it's... you didn't ban out Odin. And that's, that's obviously speculatory, um, etc. So it, you, you wonder. Uh, but I, I digress as we see some more picks coming in as I... Do the clicky clickies, and we get Giannis coming in, as well as Sun Wukong. Ooh. And Freya made it through. This is the well, first game we've seen look her at what's, Look at banned. what's been banned out. Look at what's been banned out, though. I, Freya, the trouble with this patch is that there are so many things that you want to ban out, right? There are so many things that can carry, but all of them in totally different ways. I love this patch. I Same. absolutely love this patch. Well, and I mean, uh, it, this patch makes me even more excited for the next patch, where Hyro Scott has said that a lot of little tweaks are coming out, which makes me hope that, you know, some of those gods that are still always must bans or close to it maybe get pulled out, or maybe some of the gods that are not quite viable get pulled up a little bit, which makes me very excited. That said, we are going to see Shibalanke and Aquang getting locked in by the Burly Men. So, uh, we saw Fatal playing... Apollo last time, but he'll be playing Jablonke this time, which I find interesting, but that is, you know, sort of his choice. Now, this one, this, this is an interesting pick. So, Ares, Ares is getting picked up as the last pick of the first round for a free K-spot, and I find it interesting because of the members on this team, uh, the, the certain support member who you may not know about yet, but we'll tell you right now, El Brochacho. El Brochacho in years of <laughs> years past was was the Ares player for a very long time in North America. This is a long time ago. So uh it, it's it's gonna be very exciting to see that come back. And then we see a Cirquette ban for the uh burly and not so burly men. So uh interesting interesting bands out here. What are your thoughts on the Cirquette ban as uh there may already be a jungler on free K spot if they chose to put Freya there? Or Wukong there? Uh, you're not gonna put Freya in the jungle. Uh, the, uh, ugh. Don't make me sick, man. Don't make me feel sick. Um Okay, so Burly Man banned out the Cirquet. They've already got the the Al Kwong. They're happy bailing away the jungle. They've got what they wanted. They wanted to take the next priority pick off the board. So that's totally fine. The Geb ban is saying, hey, just because you've got Shibalonke, we've now got Ares. We've got some nice priority picks. We're forcing you into a few things. But Ymir left on the table. And this might not be you, so we might not see huge amounts of Ymir play. But it's the perfect... This is the trouble with picking up Ares, is that there are so many solid people to go up against him. And he's sort of shoehorned into this very specific slot where he has to be aggressive early, right? Yeah, and the, and the interesting thing is, is again, one may say, what about Sylvanas? Sylvanas is not at all Junipera's type of support. No, Amir, heck no. Completely, he is her baby, almost. Um, so, I mean, Junipera and Amir are almost synonymous, so she has quite a few hours logged on that character in, uh, when, again, especially if her, uh, Athena's taken away, or actually, is Athena? Athena's, Athena's on the board! Yeah, but at the same time, uh, Amir is saying, I think, I think this is the meeting aggression with aggression pick here of, alright, fine, you want Ares? We're just gonna blow you up with Amir. 
Um, and especially when you consider that Ares, his big thing is you oh, know, stopping you so you can't dash, and it is locked in, okay. Oh, I didn't want to click it until it was locked in. But Oh, God. I say, no, this is this not me making you sick. Comp. This is not me making you sick. This is them. This is not me. So, um, Thanatos picked up here. For, um, what? Okay, wait, what? Hold on, I'm waiting to see where this goes. Because El Brochacho is registered as the support player. Getting a little scared here. Because, I mean... I guess I, I mean, I don't know what the rules... Okay, good. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. Was getting, there we go. <laughs> I was like, are we playing a support Freya here? Is there something I don't know? But no, it's no, just... No, it would not be support Freya. No way. With the areas on the table? The more interesting thing would be where the SWK and Thanatos could potentially go. Uh, Cliff but is, the Osiris is on so, the board Cliff from Pocket. solo and Thanatos is jungle. So, um, I, I argue... I maintain that Thanatos solo is not a viable pick, <laughs> even when your Cyclone spin... <laughs> <laughs> um, but hey, he makes it work sometimes. Oh, the rest of the time, not so much. That said, Cliff does like his Wukong. He's liked Wukong since uh, back when Wukong was not good. And then Kobe on uh, Thanatos. He likes his assassins. So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense in terms of slipping him into a role like that. A lot of early game power on free case, but they may have some problems if they make it to late game. Though there are some builds out there that make Thanatos not completely and utterly fall flat late game. That said, Burly Men, Osiris, Yanis, Aokwong, and Jibalanke all late game. That's four out of five of their characters that are terrifying late in some manner. Though Amir and Osiris do fairly well early as well. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a fairly interesting draft because there's counterplay, there's aggression from both sides of the draft, and there's late game. Right? In in the form of Freya versus Shibalonke, plus Thanatos for the side of the Burly Man. Ymir as well, heavy late game. Osiris is there to, to put some pressure down, have some really nice lane clear. He's basically going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wukong and come out okay after it. You know, that's the, that's the potential here. But it's the Isis, right? It's can they get these big circles to work in the mid-game? Because a free K-spot can totally do that. The amount of kills that they can pick up very, very quickly with the way that their kits work is high. There is... The game can suddenly get to mid-game and then just flip on its edge. It's very, very true. But we are going to have to wait to get into the game, which will be in about two minutes, so don't go anywhere. This is your semi-final matchup between the Burly Men and Free K-Spot. Don't go anywhere. My name is M-Target. My co-caster is Ranconius, and we will be right back. All right, we are back. Oh. Now we're back into the action. And there's one button. One button. I've got like 500 that I need to press, and there's the one that I forget. But we're here. We're into the action. Burly men up against free case, but a little bit of early aggression. There's a ward that is on top of another ward that you can see is flashing, and my camera won't let me take you over there, but it's there. So, with that said. Important to note, after this game, if you are indeed interested in hailing your senpai and making really weird sounds in the chat, Using the voice commands, we will be giving away a Kawaii Bastet skin code. If I'm you not want playing that. in your game if you win that. I love it. I already I, have it. Well, okay, well, in that case, I'm not playing in your games anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but that's, uh... not only that, if we can hit 2,000 viewers, I will give away a $50 Sandboxer gift card out of my own money. If we can hit 2K viewers. Okay. We got, two, we got 2,000 viewers in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's make rank. Let's make rank. Spend some money. But with that said, we have Burly Men in the blue. Fatal on Jibalanke, dueling with Junipera on Amir. Booty Call Jones in the mid lane on the uh, Robo Giannis. Panda Cat. Hang on. On in the jungle as a Quan and Puckham on Osiris in the soul lane. But Fatal's about to die. Wow. And that and, was and quick. they lost the buff. Mindy, oh, actually, no, they got the buff. They got the buff. They're okay. Um, They're okay. That's, it's, it's all okay. The red buff actually wasn't even picked up by Giannis, but they got the experience. No, in all seriousness, uh, huge first blood here from Free K-Spot. And this is the kind of aggression that you should expect out of a Freya-Ares combo. Ares, the pain, the chains do slow you, as well as cripple you. The uh, pulse from Freya slows you in AoE. And then you have the wing gusts from Isis that just hurt. So, uh, like you said, this is sort of what you should expect out of a composition like Free Case, but lots of damage early and much pain we had. And considering well that Fatal was like the big, 
Oh, Achilles heel? I feel like that's the right term. His, his early, early game men. is weak. His early game yeah. is weak. Especially as a but his late game ability to carry, right? It's, it's just about making sure he does not super heavily die to get him to his late game potential. That's always been what Fatal's like. He's just not a great laner. Keep okay, his death below fine. about 5, he's fine. Yeah. The problem is, is that free yeah. spot got him at 1 fifth of that in less than 60 seconds. And yeah, so. <laughs> for aggression from Kobe and Mindy, they are not going to be able to find it because, well, as a pan cat was off, he was taking that back buff. So. Okay, they didn't miss anything. They're fine. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> well, like, hey, we got a lead. Let's let's use that lead. Anyway, yeah, so left-hand side of things, it's basically don't let Fatal die. Fatal's actually doing some really, really nice damage on a full pen, so they actually do have a really nice chance here if they can clear out this wave to get some rota- Excuse me, to get some rotations going and potentially look for a kill and look what Panda Cat and Booty- Booty Collins- Call Jones. Booty Call Jones! I called it- oh, nah. Booty Colognes. That's- that's not his name. Good job, Rank. That's no, not. Unless you are- <laughs> unless you pronounce your J's as I's, which some people do. But, uh, if you're Australian, you don't have that excuse. Uh, <laughs> oh, Vanatos coming down is going to miss because he can't find that invisible Al Kuang. And that's the first ultimate of the game used, and, uh, it's, it's Thanatos, so I don't mind that, right? He's looking for some aggression, he's looking for the stun. If he gets the stun there, he actually has a very high chance to get the kill, so... Yeah. yeah it's, it's very possible that Pandacat hurt it, which is why he did Water Illusion, because Pandacat's a really, really good option for it. Uh, if you can get the full combo off, uh, Ao Kuang just gets blown up. Especially early, early game, when Ao Kuang just has, you know, tier 2 shoes. So if he does a beat left, uh, ultimate coming out from Giannis, we are rotatoing over Everybody on the train, let's go, chop chop! Booty Call Jones riding in on the side, and here comes the aggression. Beautiful wall, full penetration going up into the ultimate. Gonna pop out just one shot before coming back down. There's the area ultimate as well. Those chains do come through. However, there is escape with beads, and Booty Call Jones gets the first kill from Burly Men, and it is going to be on full penetration. And, and guess what? That sounds really bad. Fatal's not dead. He's not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's got three quarters health. He's not dead yet. <laughs> Somebody get a it's shovel. Still <laughs> but There's that's still that's time. some really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No. Okay. Anyway, in, in all in all seriousness, uh, exactly. It's it's a, it was a good and gank. Uh, last game that we saw with Burly Men, they had two gank attempts early on, where Fatal initiated. You know, he probably called for a gank or something, and he died in the gank attempt. I mean, sure, they got two kills out of it normally, but he was dead. This time, he didn't die. Sure, he didn't get the kill, but that's okay. Because he got an assist, and he didn't die, I think is, again, the big thing. He's only 100 gold behind the Freya. Now, again, Freya does... Oh, never... never uh, okay. <laughs> I was talking about Fatal! I wasn't watching Fatal! Now he's dead! Ugh. It happens. It was a not, It's not even Caster's mistake. curse! Well, because it kind of is. We're talking about he wasn't dead, but... It was a Fatal mistake! Happens. Target! No. No. No puns? You're gonna hate casting the Shadow Boy because he refuses to acknowledge it. <laughs> so, uh, that's it. Over in the solo lane, we are gonna see the ultimate coming out from Puckham, but Birdie form comes out and Cliff just says bye bye, Birdie, and he is good to go. Mid lane, we have a three versus two here, while we do see the attack speed buff being stolen once again from the uh, Soldier of Fortune and the Freya, or the Valkyrie. I guess she is technically. Fatal, 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 don't do this. Don't fa do fatal, actually, give up on this because. Yeah, and they're gonna go with the gank, looking for everything. Freya's in the sky, trying to do what she can. Luckily, that means she's cleansed, but look at the damage they're able to put on a bro. Chacho through the portal! He might die here. They get the freeze again on a full penetration, but they can't kill off one target. They can only significantly injure, and that'll have to do. That will have to do, indeed. But, there is a Thanos. Oh, Fatal. The nicest Th Thanos back Fatal, in. get out! Please! He's, fine. He's, fine. He's okay. He's okay. For now. I'm gonna get him killed now watching. Uh, but <laughs> he is, uh, he's still down a level, so really quickly, we're gonna, we're gonna actually be, be try to be serious here. Uh, two level advantage for the Freya, uh, supports are tied, level advantage for the Isis, level advantage for the Thanatos, and the solo laners are tied as well. Now, again, these are sort of what you would expect overall. Um, you know, Freya's gotten two assists, Ares is 2 0 0, and Ares and Thanatos and Isis are all very, very good at the early game with laning. Etc. And then, of course, when you look at the fact that they're 2 and 0, oh, now sure, both of those kills are on Ares, but they still have a kill advantage, technically. So, that early game yeah, I mean, is very they much theirs to take. Blink in, it's actually going to look for the silence over here on the right hand side of things, and Pockham's low! 
but he's gonna be able to jump out. Looking for the execute right now. Gonna rotate out is the Thanatos. I was actually watching over the dual lane where um, Ares got his third kill on to. Um, God damn it! Onto the. Oh, it wasn't fatal. Come here. No, it wasn't fatal. No, it was, it was a mirror. It was a mirror. It was Jenny. She's dead. To be fair, though, it was a very, very aggressive push onto her, and she couldn't quite get under tower because of uh, a stun. But hey, Puckham's gonna oh, go look at the gank. I need to stop in reply lane. over to the right hand side. Puckham gets himself a kill. Panda Cat, thank you for visiting. You've done exactly what your team needed. Indeed. And now looking at the uh, <laughs> excuse me rotation in uh, in and around the mid lane. Junie's going to be here hanging out with Giannis. Though it looks like she will be uh, meandering back over. Oh, oh, man, just mid blank. But there is the uh, Rising Jaguar, and Fatal will be able to disengage just in time. And now he's got two he here to keep him alive. He's going to stay away from Ares until his Rising Jaguar comes back off cooldown, because if he doesn't, well, Fatal will be, well, Don't fatally injured. Oh. Mortally injured? Mortally wounded? I don't know. What? I can't help myself, okay? I know you can't help yourself. Um, but <laughs> anyways, with that said, back over in the duel lane, we're gonna see Fatal popping his ult in a lot of trouble. Have a good freeze for Jugar, and he's gonna take a long time, a little longer, however, he is going to fall! Do full penetration, and then also the damage from that no escape, and full penetration continues to more. He's gonna pair in a lot of trouble, she is going to fall. Uh, Thanatos in the area to get the assist gold, but that's really all that he did out of that. Yay, it's this gold. Anyway, they're going to rotate and look in on towards this gold tree because there's a rotation coming through from the solar lane teleport. Is here looking to try and get in on this one. Was the panda not quite able to do it? Ultimate did come through from Giannis looking for a snipe, but great secure from free K-Spot. Another double kill on towards that duo lane, and they secure themselves a gold tree in a nice early advantage. Indeed, now sitting at 8 minutes in, 5 to 2. 4,000 experience, 3,000 gold. I think that free case spot needs to be a little bit further ahead than they are right now because they're going to start seeing characters falling off soon. Now, they have a huge advantage over certain characters, but uh, Solo and this ultimate from Thanatos going near to R and on to fucking fucking Santa pop his mitigation. Beautiful job there. Can he get under tower? He does, and gets a stun off onto Cliff as well. Cliff in a little bit of trouble, but Puckham does not go for any sort of engage onto him. He just simply tries to clear things out. He is all right for now. As a rotation does come out, but Panda Cat and Juni are simply looking for their own camps, I guess, even though they are all taken. Yeah, have a look at the left-hand side of things again. Fatal, stay away. Good boy. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you call it when he makes a mistake? A fatal mistake? Not necessarily, because if he doesn't die, it's not a fatal mistake. Uh, an error, <laughs> maybe, but anyways, we're just... Uh, Puckham, way too aggressive over on the solo lane. Luckily, Kobe does not have any... Uh, does not have his ultimate available for a little bit longer. Just like Junipero this game, that pun was really cold of me. What? <sighs> anyways, mid lane, we're going to see a 3 versus 3 engagement here. A superior lane clear... Uh, coming out from the Isis and the Ares over the, uh, the jungle and uh, combo that Burly Men do have at the moment. Alright, so let's actually talk about what, what sort of spikes these guys are looking for in this game. If if they can get a, a very early Spear of the Mages online for Mighty Rocks, that will be significant towards these early fights as well. That's what he's really looking for. Blink in, looking for the freeze, not going to land for Juni on the left-hand side of things, but... Couple of bees here. in the air looking for Fatal, deciding against it because Fatal is over the execute threshold. Going to back out and simply just alt down Giannis ultimate views as well. Ao Kong in the area, but he will walk away. Okay, so, as we were saying, spikes. Um, I do agree that Mindy, she is going to want herself some, some really more pen damage, etc. But again, she's, uh, and, and the mid lane is a point at which they're relatively close, so those, those spikes do definitely matter. Over in the uh, dual lane, the spike's not quite as important to be due to the level advantage that they have. Um, Al Kuang sitting at level 9, Amir sitting at level 8, and Shibulanke sitting at level 9 is hugely detrimental to burly men, and it's also very important to Free K-Spot to keep them low. Because right now, Free K-Spot is sitting at a point where it doesn't matter if Ares hits his next damaging item in terms of the aura to bump up his power a little bit more. Uh, because, well, hey, they just got another kill. Make that another double. Elbro Chacho has been involved in every single one of the kills for free K-Spot. 
which have all been in the duo lane, by the way. But also, <laughs> he has gotten most of them. This is why the duo lane is doing so well, is because you have <coughs> a 5 and 0 Ares, a 2 and 5, a 2 1 and 5 Freya, and we did just see a kill over in the solo lane by Cliff. Cliff actually. Maybe not gonna die, but Panic Cat is tied up here uh, with the Thanatos. Panic, Panic Cat might get a kill. No, yeah, he's too low. And uh, actually, the bottom side is Booty Call Jones in a little bit of trouble with Mindy. Mindy will be able to force him away, though. And now we're gonna see rotation back around from them on to the Ao Kuang. And he is in some trouble, Panda Cat. One second, oh, one second, Water Illusion's up. Beautiful. But Kobe's going up, and was... we're gonna follow along with him. And oh no, Panda Cat, where are you gonna go? He gets executed. Shut down. Yeah. Except it was not actually shut down gold, it just felt like saying it. Uh, <laughs> so that's gonna nice. be a, that's gonna be the first kill of the game at 13 or oh, 12 minutes in on a Thanatos. Second. Oh, okay. First kill for, first for kill Thanatos. By Second Thanatos. kill that um that elbow charger wasn't a part of. And not on that left hand side. And considering map. that both of them <laughs> happened after eleven and a half minutes, yeah. But uh, no, this is that's the biggest thing though, is that early men up until now, nobody had died outside of the duo lane. So it wasn't, yeah. okay, fine, our duo lane's getting beat on, but, you know, if you can just keep Shivalon alive to lay, oh, you're going to be Oh, no, my beats are okay, and he does survive, and he will disengage. But as I was saying, okay, sure, one lane's getting beat, but everybody else is doing very well, so that's good. Guess what that does for the, the team, though, that gank, um, onto Thanatos, we're actually probably going to see this mid tail fall, and indeed it's about to, three, two, one, fall. Fall over, thank you. Alright, um, what that does actually under Booty Call Jones, he had beads one there. So, three minutes <laughs> is now the cooldown that they can come back, return to this lane, and continue to put pressure on it. He's gonna play scared for that he time. He does have space and time. And Aegis. So, he's got two other options. Through space and time, however, probably the best option. I think they want to try and sneak a Gold Fury. If they can sneak this Gold Fury, it will be huge because it will give a lot of gold, a reasonable amount of gold. It's going to be the second Gold Fury of the game. It's sort of counteracting. Uh, full time Tracer is going to go up though. Oh, oh, oh. Juni low. Juni's going to die. Technically, the Gold Fury of the full time is going to get a final hit. Early man finishes up the Gold Fury. However, Fatal is going to die on the bottom side. Right? He can't go to try and get out of it. Doesn't matter. He's going to die. And now, the hunt is on for. Booty Call Jones, Cons but he is gone, and over in the solo lane, Puckham takes the first tower that early men have had the entire game. Considering what just happened there, and the current state of the game, giving up those three kills to secure the gold fairy and a solo lane tower, that's actually a big win for Burly men. Yeah, in terms portrait. of gold, it definitely is, because if you look at the charts, the experience difference is exactly the same as where it was before the fight started. There was a dip for, for the gold fairy, um, and then a dip back for the death. And uh, there's the Aegis coming up from Booty Call Jones. And then on gold, gold is actually now uh -oh. not as bad as Left hand side. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, he's going to get the kill there. Full on penetration, him. super low. Booty Call Jones is going to kill off Mindy Rocks in the mid lane as well. They were looking to push down the left hand side of things. Fatal is going to use the Rising Jug. We're looking for things. Full penetration manages to get out of here as well. Everyone able to escape on the left hand side of things for free K spot. But they just lost pressure over Burly Man. They had numbers. They had deaths down on Burly Man and not able to get anything and forced immediately back to the base. And look at Puckham. Look at Puckham. What do you think? Puckham, Puckham, Puckham. What do you think? Puckham, please. Puckham, I understand that you're you taking Burly, but Puckham, you're dead. Puckham. He's fine. He's good. He's out. He's clear. Um, yeah, the ult is out. Oh no, he caught the fire giant. No, no, he's okay. Um. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> That was super lucky. If he gets stunned in that fire giant pit, he's dead. He's so dead. Um, I think you're a moment behind me, but that's all right. So, um, fifteen twenty flat. One, two. Oh uh, yeah, I'm like a like a moment behind. Yeah, this, so I, I'm just gonna blame Australian internet for that one. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's the ping. Yeah. So um, with that said, it's, uh, and then of course it's also you coming back to me um, in terms of just the latency overall and the call. But we are going to see a bit of aggression in the mid lane here from uh, both teams. Actually, oh, oh no, fatal, fatal. Fatal, what are you doing? Stop doing that. He can actually win this if he plays it correctly. He's three levels down. There's no way he can win this. But look at that. As soon as, as, soon as the 
impulse damage comes down. No, I'm not quite able to do it. No, yeah. And we got so Thanatos as well. Thanatos went on to Juniper. He's going to get the uh, silence off onto her, but her alone. Puckman is going to look for a little more. He's going to get the slow up as well. He's going to get the stun on the Kokomi. Can he get some more damage off his question? He's going to be a significant amount. But Kokomi heals him so hard, and he is able to disengage off of that off the top side. He and Full Penetration are so low. And there, of course, is nothing global to get. Oh, hello! There's a dragon in the back line. Dragon's gonna kill one. Can he get the second on his way down? Of course, Recall Jones needs to disengage. There we go, double kill on Panda Cat. That Al Kuang is very, very happy now. Amir is gonna be able to get out of that with the wall as well. But the chase is on as all three members that are over here are oh so low. And Al Kuang is off in the other part. Good slow from Cliff. Cliff's gonna take Junipera very low. Going into his ultimate as well. It's gonna land there on top of Junipera. He, she is now going to fall. And now they're going to look for Osiris as Puckham does continue to run. He's gonna slow off, but there's a smack. I think he's okay. He should be fine. He, he yep. should be able to get oh, it out of here. Oh, there's a blank. Oh, no, there's, there's chains. He's dead. And that is a kill from El Brochacho. And as I said, El Brochacho used to be the Ares player in North America. He used to play Ares in solo lane back before Tolly made it cool up against Tears. So. Okay. Yeah, it's it's El Brochacho. He's gonna play Ares when he gets a shot. Alright, important thing to note. This game has just been kills and that one gold fury and that tower on the right Two hand players. side and the left Two hand side. Players. One per team. It's just like it's crazy, right? It, th this game has totally been about kills. Neither of these teams have actually ever said at any stage, hey, let's set up, let's group, let's do this. No, it's not happening. Uh, it's very, just chasing. Very beginning, there was a, there was a group for kills. Technically. With the gang, or with the evasion. But look at Fatal right now. Fatal just needs some freedom to start farming, and Free k are doing the smart thing and not giving him that freedom, but Junipera is going to try and make the advantage of it. A little bit of aggression, but I think that they, uh, they, they certainly know now, as the pings come out, that Kopi is in the area. He is, uh, he's actually a level ahead of Fatal. He's going to get the silence off and get a good chunk of damage out. But, uh, that's about it. As there are friends in the area. But, uh, Fatal's in trouble. Fatal's going to die. Uh, going to get the there. But there is... And now they're dying so hard under this tower. Juni is going to fall. That Isis is going to heal them all up so nicely. Ares also coming here as well. Is not going to get pulled. We are going to see a disengage from Puckham and Panacat for now. But Panacat looks like he wants to go in. I mean, he... At the end of the day, he is still an Alquonk, so he does have the potential to get one and get out, but it's just way too risky, and he's like, well, what else is there to take? There's nothing, really. But finally, Free Case are able to group up and get the picks that they want. Being too separate without enough wards right now is the Burly Man's problem. Gold Fury gonna spawn, they're gonna lose their purple, they're gonna lose everything on that left-hand side at this point in time. So they just need to get some wards out, get them down, play a little bit more passive. They've got the late game. They can play to that. That's not a problem. They can continue to play to that. Juniper is four levels down. They've got to get some experience and some HP on her. And the reset of the Gold Fury Burly Man! That plays so well into their hands. It definitely does. Matter. I think really is what Puckman and Panicat are trying to do is just hold them off until their team gets here. And now Fatal can be part of the fight and trying to get something. We are going to see Osiris getting off the top side. Disengage from pretty much everybody, and now uh, Juniper is in a lot of trouble here. And she's going to freeze off, which is very good, but now she's getting blown up. She's going to fall there, people penetration. And now, oh, Thanatos is up. Where's he coming down? He's going to actually miss. Perfectly timed there. Water loose and fatal. going to get trapped really, really hard, though. In a lot of trouble, and he will fall once again. Elbert Chacho getting another kill. We are going to see the execution coming out from Panacat. Panacat's going to finish off Elbert Chacho. And that could be. Oh, no, he's going to go up and finish off Mindy Rocks as well, and she does fall. And now we are, we'll see Panda Cat baiting out a fight against Cliff, maybe. No, he's actually going to move the water illusion past. And now he's going to try to 1v3. This is bad. Yeah, Copa B is now really big at 3, 1, and 7. But look at where Puckham is again. He's just he's like, right, I can't do anything. I'm over here. I'm going to shove me a tower. He's got to be careful. He's going to be able to get this. Getting out after it is a totally different story. Going to do what he can, though. See if he can get out of here. He realizes, he knows he's in trouble. Kobe B blinks forward, looking for the engage. Puckham still trying to run. This is the things that Puckham does. He just buys your team a little bit of space. Not enough to get yeah, out this to that time also, around. To be honest, but it, it's half the map. People, have, people forget that a lot of times, I think. And it made it to one wall before him. So it didn't quite make it to actually saving him. Which is part of the problem. So. Slight, slight miscalculation there from the early back. But Puckham gets a tower, K-Spot takes the gold tree though, and extends their lead, or actually re-establishes their lead back to now 7,000 gold. Ooh. What? When did that happen? <laughs> yes, when did that happen? Um, 
The third gold tier is an incredibly important one for quite a lot of gold, as we can see on the charts. But again, just blowing up Burly Men right now. 22 to 7 at 21 minutes into the game. It's just... It's super crazy. Right now, go back to that XP. Go back to that goal. Juni needs to get something. This is way too far up the map for Fatal to be. He can't be here anymore. He just can't. Needs to let it go. Needs to sit back. Just get something online I mean, without forfeiting anything anymore. We are 21 minutes into the game. and Or 20, 21 and a half minutes now. And we are just now seeing the second member of Burly Men approach 10,000 gold. Or 10,000 net worth. Right now, Al Kwong at 10,300 is the highest member on Burly Men. He's only ahead of the mid laner on his team. Or, excuse me, on Fire K Spot. Mindy Rocks is at 9,931. Giannis is at 10,000 flat. Again, slowly with the, with the J gold per five. But beyond that, everyone else on Burly Men is sitting at 9,900 or below. And Juni is actually tied for uh, uh, net worth with her AD carry, Fatal, which is terrifying in terms of Fatal hasn't been able to get online at all because of it. And you're actually seeing Fatal do something really, really weird over here. He's just last hitting. He, he's not shoving this way. He wants to freeze this as back as far as he can. Blink in. Code Baby is looking for him. He's going to drop the ultimate and get the heck out of here. So he is fine this time around. That allows four members to go towards the right-hand side from Burly Man. They're looking for the pick over on towards Cliff. And he's going to take to the sky. So we'll see where this ends up. I don't understand why they're... I mean, it's one of those things where, yes, I understand that the... Decoy does some damage. But it's almost better just to... When, when it starts to go away from where he fell, just stay by... You know where he went up into the car. He's gonna get into this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be. Yeah, Mini Rock's actually gonna be the one that gets the last bit of damage there onto Junipera. And nope, Chains did not catch onto anyone, so Elbert Chacho will just be sitting there a little bit sad. Over Puckham and a bit of trouble as Cliff does go onto him. However, Puckham is uh, is really sitting at 17 right now. Uh, but now only one versus three gonna get blown up right now. Mindy going to finish him off. And 24 to 7 now at 23 minutes in. It's like Free K Spot said, hey guys, we don't have more kills than there are minutes in this game. We need to do something about that. But look at what this actually has done on the left hand side of things as well. Is suddenly, look at all this free gold and XP that Fatal's just starting to pick up a whole bunch of. Already up to level 15, starting to catch up, starting to cap out on the side of Free K Spot as well. You've just got to remember it in the back of your mind. Burly men, if they sit around for the next 15 minutes and this game isn't over, they're still in this. Oh, they're totally. still in this by a long margin. But at the same time, there's now one tower left, and they're considering Fire Giant on the side of Free Case Lot. They're probably not going to do it because Burly Men have a chance to steal it, but it is something that they are considering. So, taking you know one tower, we're going to see Fatal boxing out Cliff here. Cliff, however, is going to win this engagement handily as he gets the throw off, and Fatal does die to the Bluestone. Uh, passive, I guess, technically, is what that's considered, even though it's not really a passive thing when it actively applies damage. But some... Beautiful free throw by Junipera, however, he can cope with the cope with the getting taken fairly well. Going up into his ultimate, can he get you? No, he does not! Which means that he does not get a bunch of a reset. Shell does protect him from that ultimate through space in time. Can any more damage come out from Burly Man? question. Well, they've got the hook. They're looking for Puckham. Puckham's just going to jump back in with his ultimate. Panda Cat's on the backside. He, he can come in for an execute. This could be where things start to turn around. But look at Puckham. He's really low. Full Penetration's going to take out Booty Call Jones. And that's the important part. Panda Cat's still looking for that first kill of the fight. Saga Protection's doing a lot. He's not able to get out the damage he needs to. No kills for him. He dies off. But look at Puckham. Puckham dies back in and picks up a second. First, Puckham. actually. Yeah, Puckham just hit the first kill. There for Burly Man. Now we're going to see Fatal come back into this and raise full health. Uh, this Level 15. Uh, Puckham does fall, however, Fatal is going to be able to get a killer on Elbow Chacho. Can he keep boxing? Is the question. Four levels down versus two. He does. There we go with the Rising Jaguar. Take one more. He is done. He beads a little bit too late, but he's going to be all right so far. Beautiful freeze that's coming up from Jira Pair. Fatal's going to get one more. That's a quadra kill on the level 15. He went up three levels during that fight. Three levels? Three levels. And 20 power. Three levels, 20 power. Look at them. They're going straight for the Fire Giant. <laughs> 
What? That was the worst possible thing that could have happened for free K-Spot. They've got a Shimalonki down and out of the game. They've got Junipero on Ymir down and out of the game. Who just comes in at the tail end of that and gets the entire team back into the game through space and time on its way over to the Fire Giant pit? They're going to get in here. They are going to get this Fire Giant. They're back in the game. Is this even real? Yes, it is, and this is exactly what we talked about at the beginning. We're 26 minutes in. We are right at that 25-minute mark that we talked about where if Thanatos... Thanatos needed to be level 22 minutes ago. He's level 8. Again, not bad. He's ahead of the... But he's not ahead of the other jungler anymore. He's tied again. He's not in the lead. And because of that, he's falling off late game. Thanatos just shows up and realizes that he's like the party. And now, looking at the graphs really quickly, quickly, experience. Yes, it's 12,000 still in favor of free K-Spot, but there's a lot of level 20 starting to show up over there. The gold difference is now only 6,300, and this fire giant is equivalent to this... about 3,000 worth of gold. This is on. If you, like... Get your friends in here. This game is going to go super late. Right, how does this start to iron out? If they do not fight in the middle of the circle of protections, they should be able to win from the Burly Men. They're super mobile as well. They're able to kite around the edge of it. Giannis, doing it fine. Junipero, she's going to sit in the middle and take it no matter what. Fatal, able to dash around with the Shibalonke, Rising Jaguar. Panda Cat mobile, Puckham's mobile, they've got so much ability to continue to fight around. If they get this Gold Fury, they're... What's the gold out? Come on, man. This is this is crazy. This ties everything up to about 5k. Holy cow. I did not think we'd be saying this. And most of that right huge there. amount of XP lead means nothing at this point. Uh, yeah, because you've got a level 18 and a level 18, but everybody else is level 20. And when you consider where that XP is sitting, I definitely do agree. Junipera sitting really far behind definitely hurts. But at the same time, she's a level 15 guardian. Level 15 is really what most guardians need. Uh, sure, the wall duration is a little, is nice for her, but at the same time, everything else is maxed now except for her ultimate. So she's a she's a fully functioning guardian at this point. She's got the sovereignty. She's got the heart ward. Sure, the wing blade of the void stone would be nice. But she's okay where she is. She's down by 3,000 gold in comparison to Ares, but Ares is also 8, 2, and 11. So I think everybody would be happy to have the kind of uh, farm that Ares does. If we look at net worth, sure, they're still behind, but they've made leaps and bounds to try and catch up. Um, and they're What just now. happened? Isis. Isis is actually now behind three people being Alquong. Now, she Pock was behind on the two Osiris. Of them before. So, okay, um, so the the fight from Shibalanke where Shibalanke went ham is what pulled her down behind him. Um, is because she's just Isis has been sitting in an awkward position and uh, relatively you know relatively slow farm, relatively low GPM. Something that we'll need to check at the end of the game what those numbers actually are. But for now, you know this is what check this out, Copa baby. Keep your eyes on him. He is totally crucial. If he gets any sort of good initiate off and get to the back line of these guys. They get the spirit ball of the fatal. It's gonna be coming down. No escape is up. Fatal forced to beats. He's gonna get dumped on here in a second. Doesn't quite get it, but Cooper Mary gets Judy. And now it's fatal. He's dead as well. Look at that. Booty call Jones. Get out of here. Puckham's almost gone. Suddenly the game that thought Burly Man, you thought it was all theirs. Puckham's gone. They're only left without Quang and goodbye. Good night, son. This might be game. Yeah, so Alquang now in trouble early. Uh, Panda Cat is, uh, well, fighting. I mean, the fact that he had to burn that, his Dragon Call to heal the Gubra is definitely not good. He's going to back here, but that is a five man press down the mid lane. And that is the second quadrant kill of this quadrant kill of this match. And that is proof that if you build some penetration and uh, some, some sur mild survivability on the Thanatos, he's still good to go late game. Even though he can't get blown up, and that's exactly what happened there. Able to execute Junipera early. But a They've got a freeze here. Judy. They can find this. They can find this. Judy's gonna walk in the middle here. She's gonna drop the ultimate. The Titan is at 7k HP. They've gotta be super careful. Judy's forced to run away. So look at protections is down. They get the assassinate off and tail for a Not the right target. 2k. It's dropping. They've gotta get in front of here. They're not able to do it. Free K spot. Walk away with the win. Oh my god. What a game. It's only a 30 minute game, but so much happened in the last five. That was crazy. Easy, and it, I feel kind of bad saying, yeah, you know, Thanatos after after 25 minutes, but it's it's the typical truth to it. But because we saw him get blown up there, but then we saw also the counter side of if Thanatos can hit 
things sort of correctly, he blows things up on the other hand. Really quickly, looking at gold per minute, you know, uh, 450, 430, 475. So pretty good on Burly Man, all things considered. The problem is, is if you look over at free K-Spot, everyone's above 500 gold per minute, which is insane. Except for Mindy Rocks, who's sitting at 466, which is, again, not a bad GPM. You're looking for a gold per minute between about 420 and 480. Uh, gold per minute below 400 often considered bad. Above 500 considered really, really good. So the only person with, quote, bad GPM is the support on Burly Man. What? What even happened in the back end of that game? Uh, that Burly was just Man crazy. Got a great fight. Separated, blew up free K spot. Free K spot did a little bit too much uh, mix and match on who they were focusing. And then on that second engagement, Burlyman dove a tower and Junipera tanked a little bit too much. So Kopi was able to shut down the CC power that is Amir. And because they were a they blew up that tank, everybody else was getting low around him. Kopi was able to just slice and dice and chop right through everyone, getting the quadra kill there. And uh, I think that's really the best way to look at it. It's just, it was the. Lack of focus from K-Spot the first time, almost lost in the game. And then the hyper-focus from Free K-Spot the second fight is what won them the game. Personally, that's, that's my breakdown of it. Wow! Man, if you thought that was a game, guess what? We got a grand final coming your way just the other side of this break. But first, we are going to get into our giveaway. I believe Lord Wizkid is in and around the chat, and he's going to be in charge of that one. So keep your eyes on anything he says. He's the boss when it comes to giveaways. So if you want your friends here and you want them to be a part of the Kawaii Bastet skin code giveaway, you better get them in this channel right now before it all goes down, just like that last game. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with your four cup challenges full challenges cup week one from north america grand finale on the other side of this <laughs> 